Welcome back to the Forensic Detailing channel. Today I'm talking about a product that slipped underneath the detailing radar. There's not many people talking about it, which is unusual nowadays when a product's quite good. This is Turtle Wax Dry and Shine Rinse Wax in their hybrid range over in the UK. I'm gonna tell you in this video why I think you might wanna check this product out. Hello guys, welcome back to the Forensics Detailing channel. If you're new, we do all these kind of product reviews and testing and provide you with product recommendations in the de detailing scene area, if you like. At the moment, I'm working on spray and rinse type products that you can spray on a wet car after washing and rinse off. Uh, they sometimes can be called drying aids. They can be referred to as like wet coat type products. Um, God, this, I haven't got time to get into all the details, but you can see here I've got a whole lineup of, of spray and rinse type products from the biggest brands in the world, German, English, American, I mean, Japanese, Korean, you know, I've got every country here, all the main brands. I'm just bringing your attention to one of the products, Turtle Wax Dry and Shine. First up, you can pick this product up. I believe it's about a tenner in Halfords for 750. I can find it for eight quid at the moment I'm shooting this video, which is a little bit cheaper online. Shop around with this Turtle Wax stuff. Check Euro Car Parts. Check some of these other discount stores that do deals on it, because sometimes these products, like their other, the other stuff in the hybrid range, you can pick it up for like five quid, or they do two for 12 quid or something. So always, always shop around. Um, what else? I mentioned it's 750 mil of products, guys. If you don't understand Turtle Wax, and I put myself in that category, I just knew them as a brand that had all these green products, which is kind of like their basic range. And then they had another range with rattle cans and stuff like that. I think it might have been an interior range and then like a color range or something. Over in America, they then released an ice range, which had probably, I don't know, 20 products in it, let's just say. Abrasives, you know, new protection products, wash products. That ice range never made it over to the UK. And I'm not 100% sure why, it's probably a little sensitive reason, but it never made it over to the UK. Instead, we got a hybrid range, which consisted of four products. The sealant hydrophobic wax, I think it's called, that I've reviewed on the channel, um, that I think is a really good sealant. I'm gonna be talking more about it on the channel when I've tested it against other things, but it's a bit of a powerhouse and very cheap. Um, they have this dry and shine rinse wax, which is one that you don't buff, you don't spray and buff, you spray and rinse and dry, drying aid, spray and rinse. They have a black wax, which is a pigmented or what did they call it? Plated or palleted. So it's got little little colour things in it that are supposed to reflect black for black cars, for black polish. I'm not into those products because I think you should, you know, you just want one that you can use on any colour basically, but some people might be interested in that. And they have a wash and wax in the hybrid range that I'm looking at, and I'm not a massive fan of wash and waxes generally, but I'm exploring it with an open agnostic mind, if you like. Now, this spray and rinse, guys, I am testing all of these products. I'm measuring the gloss that they produce all up against each other. I'm measuring the ones that are producing the slickest finish. I'm measuring how hydrophobic they are, how durable they are, how, the, how much they last, how easy they are to apply, because that is a critical issue with these particular products. Um, how prone they are to streaking or misapplication. I'm looking at the speed of the bond because these are all typically cationic components that you know are drawn to the clear coat. So the quicker they bond, sometimes the better. The strength of the bond, the reactivity, the repellency, all that sort of stuff. Also, what they're made of. Are they SIO2, SIO2, the latest ingredients? Are they are they a cocktail of uh, wax emulsion with siloxane or like I said, an SIO2 cocktail? Um, are they a PTFE thing like Soft99 can tend to use that, but I don't know if they're using that in this particular one. I've got a weird rattle can here. Either way, without spoiling the party and telling you how this product compares against all the competition, first of all, um, you should go and check it out because one, it's very, very affordable relative to all these products. Very, very affordable and I've got it all in charts. 
The next thing is I can tell you it is one of the most hydrophobic and repellent and rapid bonding um, spray and rinse type products that I have ever seen. So it beads like an absolute mofo this product on application. I have no idea on durability and relative durability and detergent resistance. Haven't tested that yet. Could be moving on to that quite soon. Um, but I will say so far I'm impressed with this product. It makes drying the car very easy. Um, as long as you're using it on cool panels, uh, wet panels as well, so you're hitting it on top of the water, you can then go around, rinse it off immediately, and then quickly just run around the car with a towel, or they say you can even go and just drop, take the car for a little drive after that to, to dry it. How lazy is that? I like the idea of that. <laughs> so, um, guys, give this a check out. Um, with all of these products, you will hear, whenever a spray and rinse product is mentioned, on a forum or something like that, someone will say, I use this and it left an incredible mess on my car. Doesn't matter if it's Turtle Wax, doesn't matter if it's Meguiar's, Auto Glim, Koch, any of these, Gion Wet Coat, it will have streaked for somebody. Um, that is because it's very easy to misapply these products. If you apply them properly, you'll get really good results and I'll talk about that in another video. I'm gonna do a video on streaking soon. Um, what else, guys? That is it. Also in the comments, if you've used this product, let me know your thoughts um, for now, guys. This spray and rinse one is gonna be quite interesting. We've covered most products on the channel. We've covered these before, but we've never done a comparison of them all. And uh, I'm learning stuff, and I think we should have a sort of solid conclusion or ranking on this one. Um, and, and hopefully the results there, I haven't finished yet, so I'm a little bit tentative, but we always try and present those results to you and show you kind of the reasoning behind it. So just a little preview. This is a good one. Turtle Wax Dry and Shine Rinse Wax. Very, very cool stuff in my opinion. i